Yeah. Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and to kick off some new tutorials for you guys, we're going to show you my all-time favorite gun. Now this is only going to take three balloons, two black 260s, and one diamond clear 260, but it's very fast and very efficient, so I like making this a lot. The tutorial is going to kind of walk through it a little bit, I might just use some terminology most balloon artists are familiar with. If you're not familiar with my tutorials, there are four balloon artists, by balloon artists, so if you're just starting out, it might be a little bit trickier for you to keep up. Uh, yeah, there always is a pause option, it's pretty easy to kind of follow through, but it's meant to be kind of a twist along thing for a lot of my friends and fellow performers. Now, if you want to get started in balloon art, I really encourage you guys to go get the Zero to Pro DVD. They'll be in my description below, and that goes over every little thing from how to blow a balloon, how to tie it off, to how to make superheroes and characters later on. So, it's four hour long DVD with 50 plus shapes. But without further ado, my shameless plug is over. So, for the assault rifle machine gun, M4-ish kind of gun, uh, we're gonna start with the two black 260s. You're gonna blow each one up to about four to five fingers of a tail. I'm doing one at a time, so that way you're not going to do a flip, do any other kind of speed tricks. Just a basic walkthrough that you guys can do with me also. So about four to five fingers of a tail. Now, I always kind of stretch and pull my balloons a little bit so they're a little bit longer and I have more to work with. Now, we're going to do a tulip twist at the very end for the barrel. So as you know, you push in that nozzle. I kind of accord you to fold it a little bit while I do it. I go in about to my second knuckle, or I guess it would be first, depending where you're going. And these two fingers are going to grab the balloon. This is going to grab that knot. I'm going to pull with these, get the finger out. Twist it, and push the knot into the two twists of the set. Now we're going to make a four finger bubble, followed by an ear twist, like so. And now we're going to do this next balloon, we're going to blow this up the same amount. And let's cut off the nozzle and do a hard knot. We're going to do a four finger bubble, an ear twist, and we're going to lie them side by side, ear twist side by side, in one hand, we'll hold on to the ear twist. The other hand is going to twist the two black balloons together and we'll position the handle. So this is the barrel. This will be one of the handles on the bottom. Now these two balloons are going to be vertical. Now I'm going to come back another about four fingers and I'm going to twist them together. I'm treating it like it's one balloon. I'm going to make a one inch bubble out of both of these at the same time treating it like one balloon. Now I'm going to isolate this two bubble little cluster here and I'm going to Twist them both off and twist them like an ear twist, and I'll make two ear twists at the same time, like so. Now, I'm going to turn these a little bit, and I'm going to go this way now. Now, this one should be a little bit longer than this one. So, say this is four fingers, so it's going to be about five fingers. It's a little bit longer. Now, you do the same thing again for your two ear twists. And now, whichever balloon has more twisting ability, so whichever has a longer tail, which is going to be this one, we're going to make the scope out of this one. So, for now, it looks kind of weird shape, but we're going to get to that. You do a two finger bubble, followed by an ear twist, and when I say do an ear twist, I mean create the little one inch bubble that you're going to do an ear twist with. So you have two finger, and then your bubble that you're going to ear twist, like this. Now we're going to make the bubble the same size as this one, followed by an ear twist. That's the small one. There we go. Now we're going to do another two finger bubble, and we're going to wrap this into these two ear twists. Now as I wrap it in, I'm actually rotating the balloon so it kind of stretches as it goes and doesn't pop. So now this looks a little weird, so we're going to fix things out. We're going to push the handle down, lift and pull the balloon and shape it. Now we have the front handle, the next handle, and now this is going to be the pad for the back. So go one third of the balloon and twist it. Go halfway, twist it again. I did a pretty bad job measuring that. There we go. Now, if you have tail left over, great. You're going to use that. And you're going to wrap that into the two ear twists. Like so. So now, you could, if you want extra credit, you could add a third balloon and make this a bird body and it's a little bit more thicker, but again, I, a lot of my designs are meant to be quick but still efficient for restaurants or birthday parties, settings where you have a lot of kids and something you can do and it looks good and it's quick. Because I am a full-time twister and so I need designs like that. So the last piece we're going to need is going to be the scope. Here it is. 
and we're gonna do the scope. Whoops, did not hold on to it. That's better. So, we're gonna take the knot, we're gonna wrap that into one of the ear twists atop the scope. I'm gonna trim the nozzle off so it's a nice. We're gonna make a bubble the same size and connect. We're gonna break off the excess, catch it with a handle, right. and we're just gonna tie that up. So this gives my favorite little machine gun M4 style. And for extra credit again, I always draw a little red dot on the tip of the clear so that the kid has a sight. So that way they know where they're shooting. It's not accurate. Like so. So this gives my favorite gun. I want to screenshot that. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a great day today. I've been tomorrow. But you guys have fun. I'll see you tomorrow for the Speed Minion tutorial.